Hello and welcome to another video. Now I don't expect any professor or not any, maybe many professors to ask you to do stuff like this. But I do ask you to learn how to do things like this because it will improve your knowledge, it will make you more confident, you will understand math better and when you get to higher math, these things are assumptions that uh, the professors will have that you already know how to do. So even if nobody's asking you to do it, you want to try knowing how to do them, practice by yourself and figure things out. Okay, so you're given sine x and you're asked to find the derivative of sine x. I know you know that when you differentiate sine x, you get cosine x, but if you're required to show it, not just by knowing it, show it using the definition of a derivative, what would you do? And that's what I'm about to show you today. Let's get down to it. So we're going to start by just writing the definition of any derivative. Okay, and we know that f prime of x is always equal to the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. That's the definition of all derivatives. It doesn't matter if it's cosine, if it's natural log, if it's exponential. Um, whatever it is, that's what you will use. And it always works. You just need to know some things. Okay, so let's start and apply that to sine x and see what we're going to get. So f prime of x, in this case, since f of x is sine x, it's going to be the limit as h goes to 0 of um, sine of x plus h because that's the function minus sine x divided by h. So at this point, it looks like there's nothing happening. But we now we have the sum of angles, the sine of an angle sum. There's an identity that shows that. Remember? sine a plus b equals sine a cosine b plus cosine a sine b. We're going to apply that here now and see what we get. So this is going to be, it's going to get longer, so I'm just going to be the limit as h goes to 0 of sine x cosine h. Okay, now don't mistake this as a hyperbolic sine. Okay, I'm just going to leave it that way. Um, sine x cosine h plus um, cosine x sine h minus sine x all divided by h. Okay, you know I could take one more step and if you look at it this is completely different from this but there's something similar to this with this one. So I can bring um, sine x and this sine x and sine x cosine x together. So I can say this is the same thing as the limit as h goes to 0 of sine x cosine h minus, minus sine x and then plus cosine x sine h all over h. So at this point, it's getting clear. So I've seen something or maybe two things now that I can use. Okay, let's factor this sine x out and see what we have on the side. So this is going to be the limit as h goes to 0 of, this is going to be sine x. See how I'm going to write this? It's going to be sine x and I can also split this expression. Oh, let's factor first. It's going to be sine x over um, cosine h minus 1, okay? I'm going to put, write this as, as h, I'll, I'll split it up, and then what's going to be left will be plus, you're going to have cosine x, sine h over h. Okay, so that's the expression you're going to get from this by the time you factor and you split it at the plus sign. Okay, I don't want to do that twice. So what we have now is that 
Remember, you could have had one straight line and one edge, but I decided to split it because it just saves us some um, space also. Um, this is gonna be the limit as H goes to zero, and now see how I'm going to split this into identities that we know. So I'm gonna write this as the limit, oh, this is gonna to be together, remember, the limit applies to everything, so I'm gonna apply the limit now when I take out the parenthesis, this is gonna be, I'm gonna rewrite this as sine x multiplied by cosine h minus one over h plus I apply the limit I just take the limit to the other side too the limit as h goes to 0 of cosine x multiplied by sine h over h now this has shown us some identities that we know okay this will be the limit I can actually apply the limit to each of the terms so you see it so the first uh, limit law I just applied is the addition law that the limit of a sum is the sum of the limits so this is the limit of a sum I have made it the sum of the limits now I'm going to apply the product law too here which is the limit of a product is the product of the limit now see what I'm going to do I'm going to write this as the limit as h goes to zero of sine x multiplied by the limit as h goes to zero of cosine h minus one over h plus the limit as h goes to zero of cosine x multiplied by the limit as h goes to zero of sine h over h I think that's the longest line I'm going to write there and see what happens if you deal with this limit as h goes to 0 sine x remains sine x because sine x has nothing to do with h at this point so our answer here is sine x but we're going to multiply that by the limit of this expression cosine h minus 1 over h now there's this limit I call them limit identities that cosine x minus 1 over x the limit as x goes to 0 is equal to 0 this is an identity if you looked at some of my other videos I did um, show this so you might want to look for it the proof of this identity of uh, this limit rather okay you want to know this limit you also want to know this one okay the limit of sine h over h sine whatever over whatever as that whatever goes to zero will always be one okay that's the second identity that we'll be using so the limit as x goes to zero of uh, sine x over x is one so these are the two things you need to know for this proof to be clear to you so we're going to go back and replace these two here and there and then we get an answer okay So right now, the limit of um, this expression is going to be zero. That's something you should know, okay? And then plus, well, cosine has nothing to do with h, so that stays. So that's cosine x multiplied by the limit here is going to be one. So if you look at what we have, f prime of x, okay, appears to be sine x times zero is going to be zero plus cosine x that would be equal to cosine x so the derivative ddx of sine x is cosine x if you learn something remember to give it a thumbs up I'll see you in the next video don't stop learning because those who stop learning have stopped living bye bye